Hello and welcome to another video. This time I am here with the unblackable greatsword. Uh, finally, I got it. Um, I, I actually got it like two weeks ago, but I just haven't gotten around to making an official video on it. I did make one video playing this. It was a multiplayer video uh, co-op, I think the episode three of like the random co-op series I, I started. Uh, but this time, I'm going to show it off and, and kind of talk about it exclusively for the most part. And I'll show what it is here. It is the legendary hand and a half sword, 118 poison damage, sorcerer damage, that doesn't really matter, and unblockable. Uh, ideally, I wish that it was fire damage, um, attack power or critical, and unblockable. But, you know, you can't can't get everything right <laughs> that would be crazy and then the hand and a half sword doesn't really matter the name it could have been anything um this model i think is pretty cool i think it's one of the longer models compared to something like this i, I don't prefer this model um but this one pretty cool uh, it's not my favorite uh my favorite model is probably this one so yeah it's uh I can't complain. I really can't because it's legendary and not that legendary really matters either. Just a little kind of different look. But just having two perks, even if Sorcerer is not too great, but having unblockable and poison on it is just, it's pretty great. Just unblockable. Finally, after this many, <laughs> this many great swords I've gone through, I finally got unblockable. So yeah, and then I also have these daggers just to be there. Um, but I'm probably not even going to need them because unblockable so far is pretty darn amazing. Um, but yeah, let me get right into this. Not that. That's a little too big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like a medium-sized one if I can find it. Let's see. Shadow chat. That one looks pretty good. This one looks decent. A little more confusing though. Or that I'll have to backtrack a little bit more. Okay, so I think, what was this one? That's what I want to go for. I go right first, and then I take, I think, all of the right turns. <laughs> the end is kind of confusing, but I'll figure it out. Tier 7 difficulty should be pretty easy with this sword. And uh, in the poison dungeon with the poison sword, I don't actually think that poison affects poison enemies, though. So I guess this isn't the ideal dungeon to do <laughs> with this poison sword. Uh but it doesn't really matter. Basically, uh, the any of the frozen dungeons, so Sandstorm and Underworld, is probably going to be harder just because you get frozen enemies, and those can cause the most harm, generally. Usually there's a key in here, so I grab that. Um, I think always a key, actually. Pretty sure. All right. Start off with the poison. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Wow. Mission failed. I am so rusty. So, <laughs> I'm going to try that again and not be so bad. Uh, it was also kind of weird registering on the on the purple slime. Purple slimes always seem, or slimes in general, always seem to be a little, a little weird. But here, I'm going to save this and just play it right back. Let's so launch that. Bam. And launch mission. Okay. Right back to it. Nothing happened, and here we go. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of other VR games, kind of just like checking out the scene, seeing what other uh, mechanics and what other fun stuff exists in VR besides just Dungeons of Eternity, even though this game is amazing. Um, there are some pretty fun games out there. And wait, did I just not get a key anywhere? Oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Um... But yeah, this time, I'm not going to die to these slimes. <laughs> that was weird. Ugh. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> I forget that when I get hit once in Tier 7, it's, uh, it's rough stuff. So I'm just going to try not to get hit very much. I think that was, that was all of the enemies, so we're good there. I got one key. However, I don't think there's another key in here. I think there is a chest though, so maybe I'll backtrack if I don't go too far into this dungeon. Um, I have 100 health now, fantastic. Nice, unblockable is amazing. Oh, okay. Good stuff. 
Got this guy. But yeah, so basically, what Unblockable does is the name of it. Um, they can't block any of my hits. But if I do, like that, you could hear a clank noise. And I still stun them, but I don't inflict the knockback when I hit them with Unblockable. So I have to swing one more time to actually knock them back. Um, but it's still awesome because I can. you just have the freedom to swing however you like. And you don't have to like work your swing around whether or not they're blocking their face, which I mean, <laughs> those skeleton guys are always blocking a particular part. Okay, this is gonna be nearly impossible. <laughs> um, 100 health, Roy, I don't have any potions. So yeah, this, I'm just gonna hope. Oh gosh, I gotta get close to this guy. Oh no. Okay, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that is nearly impossible to kill. Uh, maybe? I mean, I could definitely use an invisibility potion to beat that guy. But, I'm going to try it one more time. And, uh, yeah, you can definitely see that I'm rusty. I, I guess potions probably would have been helpful. Just uh, just crafting one potion of everything um, to get back into it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to challenge myself and just not do any potions still and see if I can get through this dungeon that seems to be a challenge. And yeah. So for that wasp though, if he spawns again, which I believe he will spawn again, um I need to try Actually let's let's find this key first. I gotta try to Okay, there's the key. Fantastic. And, oh man, if I... Wait, gotta kill stuff first. No, okay. Wow. I'm unblockable and I'm just missing. That's the only thing you can't do when you're unblockable, is miss. <laughs> oh, gosh. I guess they still dodge on your swing sometimes, so that's, that's a risk. Okay, this guy can't block, so doesn't really affect anything there. Would I take 50 damage? Oof. Kind of rough. Hey, look, the map. That's cool. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to try to open this just see what's in here. Um obviously the map is, but yeah, I thought maybe there was going to be a key on the shelf or something in here, but it doesn't look like it. So, oh well. We'll have to keep going. Got 100 health. Let's see. If I can kill all the dudes, and then the wasp. Wow, that guy's tanky. I think my critical hit, uh, just because I got that critical exo perk, I don't know if I showed that. I don't think I did, but I've got the, the critical, I think it's just called critical exo perk, which does 200%, 40% chance to do 200% damage on every melee hit. Okay, that guy dodged into me. So that hurt. There we go. Ooh, that was weird. Yeah, it's, it's still kind of awkward hitting enemies that are on the ground <laughs> for some reason. But, ooh. There we go. Ah. Still, it's just yeah, so hard to do that for some reason. And that guy did not get stunned by one of my hits. And I got damaged. Um, do we got the wasp now? No. Ooh. Okay. So this should be... Well... <laughs> I'm gonna die in one hit. Uh, that's not good at all. This is probably even worse than the wasp. Man. But wait. Let me, let me kill the slime first. And then I'll, I'll see if I can potentially do some damage to this guy without getting killed. Okay. I'm just going to go for his head every time. Ooh. Oh, yeah. See, he... I think I have to hit him in the face because he still can dodge. Um, or, no, he can block. Ooh. That was close. So, yeah, I'm just trying to jump hit him. Ooh. Yeah. Because I, <laughs> I do think I, I get hit once and I'm dead. Maybe I should have done the less melee. Ooh. Oh. Wow. 
This is crazy. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I do have to give up and just make quad damage and invisibility potion. And I'll get through this dungeon easy peasy. Maybe I'll make a couple too. What do I have so far? Just health potions. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do that. I haven't opened a single chest so far. This is, this is a struggle. At this point, if you don't want a challenge, I would just recommend going to a different dungeon. But okay, potions. Let me get... I don't need haste, but quad damage will be useful. Or might be useful. Um, invisibility will definitely be useful. Making three of those. And man, this is so convenient that they added the ability to craft three at a time. Um, ice potion probably doesn't do much. Resurrect, no. Haste, maybe. But we're good. Um, eh. No, I'll, I'll craft them just in case. Okay, here we go. This time, let's make it a success. To the saved. And launch this. Here we go. Ooh, man, I can't even throw anymore. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Back at it. This time, I'm going to complete it. After I find this key, wherever that happens to be. There we go. Okay. Now, kill some slimes to start. Where did I hear that slime? Oh, right there. Dead. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. There we go. 88. He did not do much damage at all. Ow. That guy did do damage, though. I just missed my swing. Okay. Right. I'm not going in there because it did not have a key. So, I'm going to save my keys. And once the boss comes up, I'm just going to use a potion. <laughs> Unless it's an Octoculus, I guess. But... Oh, jeez. A little glitchy there. Whoa. Teleportation guy. Um, what do we got next? This guy. Nice. Ow. 50 health. Alright. I gotta be careful till I regen a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when I swing, I shouldn't do a full swing because the sword gets caught. So, after the first swing... Oh, jeez. I'm gonna drink this just in case. After the first swing, I just have to go back instead of going through. Because you can only follow through when you're hitting that finishing swing. Ooh. Or if they get knocked back. Okay. And... Okay, we got the wasp, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna just invisibility. All right, here we. Oh no, he's gonna be, he's gonna go high. Ugh, there we go. And he's just attacking. So if I get attacked by his random attacks, I think I die in one hit. So I'm just gonna continue to be careful and just keep him in this corner. Ugh. If I can reach him. Okay. There we go. Man, he is tanky. Yeah, so <laughs> you can see how this is even kind of hard just while being invisible. There we go. Use two invisibility potions just to kill a wasp. Um, What did I say? I think I was left first. Oh, I got two keys. Cool. I'm actually going to go back. Not take advantage of this invisibility potion. Oh, well. Um, Get this key push that and yeah it's so great that this door just opens now where all doors just open magically and I get a healing staff you but yeah no th those bosses though <sighs> it's just it's not ideal to have melee bosses it's just kind of broken to be honest um, oh a key nice uh, in that they 
I guess maybe yeah, I mean it's not broken. There is definitely a way to melee bosses and win. Uh maybe not the purple wasp. I guess it kinda depends. But um ooh, weird. The ow. 17 health, my god. Ugh. Well, good thing I put that potion on, because I would be dead. Oh, no! Don't tell me I just activated I did. I activated another room. This is not good. Let me kill this guy first. Oh, jeez. 50%. If I can go into this hallway, this might be good. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting some lag, too. Okay. Let me just guide them down this hallway. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Yeah, no. When you don't have a ranged option, I guess I'll just I'll, I'll use my ranged. Okay. I was shot right in the face. Ah, I just want to hit this. There we go. That guy. Good. Now I should be able to deal with them one at a time, kind of. Well, still a little bit difficult. However, these guys do not do much damage with the arrows. I just didn't want to get hit by the poison guy. And I, that guy just teleport through the wall. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, didn't know a key could spawn there. Lucky me. What am I even looking at now? I don't know, but I have so many keys. <laughs> the music's still playing, so there is still an enemy somewhere. However, wait. I think I was supposed to go right first. Oh well. I'll just continue this way. Alright. More. Is this guy? No, he's not dead. Oh. Uh oh. No, I'm good. Yeah, so somehow that did not proc me. You can see I still have 100 health even after getting hit by all these arrows. It's kind of weird. Um. But. Yeah, so it's really a danger when you get poisoned, you slow down just enough for a melee enemy to get near you, and then the melee enemy kills you. Um, just because if there's all archers, doesn't matter. The archers can't really do anything. Okay, in here, that music's still playing, so there is still an enemy somewhere. Just not sure where. All right. Grab this good stuff. Oh, you know what? I got the map, so I could have just been looking at the map to figure out stuff. Also, nice and glitchy, but I don't think there was anything in that room, or any chest at least. So I'm just gonna save my keys and get a l another healing staff. Okay. Game loves me. Now, I'll look at the map and find that I have to go all the way back because I was wrong in assuming the direction that I needed to go even though I said it before I started <laughs> oh yeah it was this room man jump jump dude jump no okay there we go and I can jump over the no I can't <laughs> well if I jump on top of here and then I jumped over yeah there is a way to just like use a lever but I felt like being interesting. Okay. There's a lever on each side. There we go. And yeah, the the poke strat of just poking enemies with this longsword is probably ideal. That's the lever that opens a couple other things that can help. Okay, kill this guy. Ugh. Nice. Um, one other thing that I recently... Oh, that was... Okay, that was the lever to the gate. This one is the one to open this to kill these guys. So, oh. I recently kind of learned, I think I learned that oh wow, more guys that you can't just continuously hit enemies, I mean I kind of figured that, but 
they go invincible after getting hit once, is what it sounds like. Okay, and let me grab this key and open this gate again, which I think was this lever here. Yep, there it is. I think that was the last guy. Yep, music is gone. Chest is open. And let's see what I get. Oh, great, a gravity staff. Healing and gravity staffs. Useless stuff because I already have them at max level. But off we go. Now I've got this key I can put in here. There we go. And I do like this room. This is a nice room. Ugh. And poke. Oh. Break that before I get broken. <laughs> Weird. There we go. As you can see, unblockable pretty good. I love this. These kind of like traps, or, or not traps, but targets to open up stuff are so cool. I almost died. Wow. I'm lucky I'm not dead. I'm gonna heal. And finish him off. But yeah, so those those targets are definitely interesting. I wish there were more of them. I, I think they did add a significant amount of them in the most recent update though, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I think I go this way. Oh, nice. I'm getting trapped in here. Got a key. All right. Nice. And up the spire. <laughs> it's, it's so weird how they spawn enemies that aren't ranged enemies on this. Ugh. How much? Only eight damage of fall. Okay. Fall damage. Damage of fall. Hiya! No! Couldn't reach him. That's okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Getting hurt. Um... Alright, here we go. No! Glitchy. Man, it's just so hard to hit enemies on the ground. And I think they do have like invincibility frames or something when they're on the ground. I, yeah. Ow, got hit by the poison. Come on! Uh, uh. Man! No, they're not invincible. They're just hard to hit. Ow. Poison hurting me. There we go. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is endless. Okay, fantastic. Did the guy, the guy up there fell or something? I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he just died of impatience. Okay, down here. Grab some coins, and I think I gotta go that way. Except I think that's the end room, so I'm gonna go here first. Just assuming that that is the end room. Oh, okay, I was wrong. That's the end room. Alright. 
So, kill some more dudes over here. Oh no. <laughs> Vitality is too strong. 75 health. Eh. Nice. Oh. Get dodged. Oop, oh, okay. Kill the long ranged, even though he does very little damage. It's still scary to get hit by the stuff. Okay, nothing up there. That's okay. I don't really need anything anymore. I have two keys, so even if there's two keys over here, or t a chest over here, I can still get it. But there's not, because it's the end room, and there's no secret rooms in end rooms, I don't think. Sometimes there's chests in end rooms, but not this one. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. Okay. That guy's just a problem. There we go. And that guy just did not want to take knockback damage. There he goes. Come on. There we go. Zombie guy. Knock dead. And I missed. Ugh. <laughs> so yeah, you can also poison these enemies on the ground, and then when they get up, they just stand there as their poison. Ugh. <laughs> That was kind of weird. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't hit him hard enough or something. Oh. What am I? 59? Okay. I'll, I'll use this potion. Just randomly sitting there for me. Man, I still really wish that there were... Okay, that was terrible. Really wish there were left-handed enemies so that... I mean, even... Okay. In this situation... Ah, I'm going to use invisibility, even though this is super risky, because if I get too close to him, I just die. And because, yeah, he'll... Oh my god, he'll randomly swing. Oh. Okay, yeah, so he sees where you are and then starts swinging around. Ugh. It is so much easier to kill these guys long range. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, time to go back invisible. No, I don't have any more invisibility. Okay, I'll just use power and hit him with these knives because I'm too rust rusty to go for this, to risk it all for nothing. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> oh man, that, that dungeon was so much harder than I expected. But it's a fun one. That would have been fun multiplayer too. Oh, I, th I thought I heard zombies, but it was just like the effect noise. Gargling. Kinda neat. Oh man, thank you to my daggers. Yeah, so, I mean ideally, if I come across a boss, in tier 7, I'm just going to be using ranged weapons because it's just so risky. I, if you're in multiplayer, you can go for the for the melee stuff, but just if your teammates have resurrection potions or you're confident that they can beat the boss alone. But yeah, that was, that was unblockable. It, as you can see, it's very good for traditional enemies, but just like the, uh, I mean, just like any melee weapon, it's pretty bad against bosses. Uh, and I don't think, why, I don't know, the unblockable I'm pretty sure still hurt that skeleton, even if I didn't hit his head or his weak spots, which I think are the shoulders and legs, but I didn't even really go for his legs there, so I don't know for sure. Um, well, it would be his weak spot, but but I think if, if I went for his armor, his chest armor, I don't think this was hitting him, doing damage to him. I don't know for sure, though, because you don't see damage numbers and... 
Um, the only way to tell is if he was stunned, and I don't think I stunned him. So, yeah. Uh, but all in all, unblockable, pretty great stuff. I'm really glad that I got one, and I highly recommend using unblockable if you get unblockable. Just make sure you're using two hands. One hand does not work with that perk. The perk just won't be in effect. But, uh, and I think that's the case for all of the perks with the greatsword, is that you have to hold it with two hands. Uh, and the knockback can only happen with two hands. But, yeah, that is that. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was a complete struggle and a lot of fails. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.